Hello there friends, Duke of Hayes here. Thank you once again for allowing me into your homes. This is the end of week four. It is July 21st, 2024. Um, this is not another failed weight loss journey with me, um, Duke of Hayes, obviously. <laughs> Captain Obvious. Um, this week is, I don't know, kind of lame because I'm... I, my weight has been fluctuating between the lowest I ever saw it was the 219 from last week and it's been fluctuating between 220 and 221 so I weighed myself today which I'll uh, of course include the footage it was 221.2 this is the weigh in for what is this July 21st 221.2 and I I don't know I'm kind of like bummed out because I thought that by the end of this week I would be at um you know at least 218 you know and it, it didn't go that way so um I haven't made major changes to my diet um I was doing kind of a dirty keto when I first started this but I've slowly introduced like whole grain stuff. Like I'll have like one slice of whole grain bread, sometimes two, if I'm being honest. Um, I'll have a whole wheat tortilla because I'm Latino, Latinx, what I don't know what we're calling ourselves these days. Um, I've always just under one branch called myself Latino. Um, but I've been eating like one whole grain carb the size of my fist i've been listening to dr israel despite what his political leanings may be uh, i trust that his information when it comes to diet and exercise is good so if i can disassociate his socioeconomic and political beliefs away from his actual knowledge when it comes to dieting and exercise and i think i'll be okay but I've like a fist, my fist's worth of uh, brown rice, whole grain brown rice. Um, like tortillas are kind of big, so I'm wondering if eating a whole tortilla is, is too much and I should only be eating a very tiny piece of it. So I might stop eating tortilla again because when I wasn't eating tortilla, I was consistently losing weight. So maybe I'll just give up on the tortilla for now for the next four weeks and see how that changes um but usually like every day it's like two eggs with a side of peppers and onions because that's the vegetable that i get in for breakfast i don't really do spinach i'm not opposed to doing spinach but i just don't really do spinach like spinach omelets or anything um, I switched over from regular bacon over to turkey bacon, so it's a leaner protein. Um, I've mostly been eating chicken. So like I said, so like for breakfast, it'll be like one slice of toast, maybe two slices of whole wheat toast with butter. Um, two eggs with peppers and onions. And like three slices of turkey bacon, I think, sometimes four. They're only 30 calories a piece. So, uh, yeah, we'll see about taking away tortilla and see if it changes anything. But yeah, this has been the first week where I've, you know, I've been, I've done, I think I have my phone here. Like, you know, I've been consistently like, past three days in a row I've at least done 12,000 steps of walking um, yesterday I did day before yesterday I didn't and we just went to the grocery store and or to the grocery I should say well it's hard for me to see well boils it's gone but it was 12,000 I'm sure there's a way for me to look at what it was but like they try to like inundate you with fucking ah here we go history so yeah let me make it go a little I know that there's gonna be a glare but you know I bumped it up from 10,000 steps to 12,000 steps 
and I've only done 27 today, but I'm going to walk later. So it's like, I don't know, man. I feel like I'm doing everything that I'm supposed to do. And this is like the first week where I feel like I've plateaued. I haven't gone below 219. And I know that, I don't know. I hear some people say, like, don't really watch the scale too much. Don't worry about it. Just stick to being on the diet and doing exercise. But sometimes I feel like I need that proof that I'm making progress. And when I see that I'm not making progress, it's very discouraging. So we'll see about removing tortilla from my from my diet. Because when I was eating, um, when I was eating like a single serving of steel cut oats, it feels like I was doing fine. So I don't know. I'm just gonna. We'll see about that. Maybe I'll switch over to only eating one egg. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. There's so many conflicting ideologies about you know because i do have my fitness pal where i'm logging the calories and a lot of the times i'm under 1500 but like i don't know i can't like force myself to eat if i'm not hungry like i don't feel hungry but like you know in between i'll have a serving of you know dry roasted peanuts they're 180 calories it's a healthy fat but like, you know, Dr. Mike, as we tell him, says like a finger's worth. So I don't know if that means like line up. Sometimes things are not, even though it's the simple diet, they're not as clear as they could be. Like the length of my finger, as in if I hover my finger over it, it doesn't... Um, like you don't see them like there are so many questions i have but like you know it in a late stage hyper capitalist system everything is for sale so it doesn't matter if you want to better yourself it doesn't matter you have to pay and so you know i one like i'm past due on my fucking student loan payment this month dudes i don't i don't have it like you know and here where i live there are like no opera there's no entry level shit there's no opportunity outside of who you know or manual labor sometimes sometimes not all the time sometimes or working at walmart like literally that's it even if i had my master's degree i would have to move probably somewhere else just because there are no opportunities here where I live, so that's why I switched over to doing something like YouTube, doing something that allows me to engage, talk with people, and try to eke out a living with this. But, like, I don't have money to pay back the fucking banks that rule, you know, rule over my life. You think I have money to pay for this weight loss program? I don't know. I think that education should be free i'm definitely in the bernie sanders camp i don't care if that turns you off sorry but something that actively makes us better as a society should not be paywalled it just shouldn't be and i include physical fitness one of those things that's an educational product it shouldn't be a product it's an educational system it's an educational function you are learning to better yourself as a person and i think that that falls under the branch of education and so it is what it is people have to pay their bills but if you have two million subs and you get hundreds of thousands of views on a video i'm pretty sure you've toned down your cussing and weird remarks a lot of the time a lot of the time he's he's kind of cringe but i mostly watch him for his uh information and the debunking of things and his and his analyses of the literature that's out there specifically on weight loss and fitness because you know if you have a phd in weight loss and fitness i assume just because someone has a phd doesn't mean that they have their head on straight but at the very least i assume that that's one thing that he knows what he's talking about so uh, Renaissance periodization is is his channel, and I've I watch it to learn uh, as much as I can without having to pay for their program. I understand people got bills to pay, but I'm saying 
if his stuff is monetized and it's considered educational, which I'm pretty sure it is, um, I don't know, I guess, what are, I'm just guessing here, like $10,000 a month is not enough for some people. I guess it all depends on where you live, I don't know. I'm getting sidetracked. Point being, you try to, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm getting so many conflicting messages, is I think the point I'm trying to make. Um, how much is a finger's worth of peanuts? Like, do I line the peanuts, peanuts on my desk here and like hover a finger over it until I can't see them? That's what I was trying to say. Like a fist, you know, I can kind of get that, I hover my fist over the thing that I'm eating. And it's like, oh, okay, so I, that's easy. I can do that with rice. I can do that with um, vegetables. I can do that with eggs, I guess, kind of, probably. Because, like, one egg could be the size of a fist. But, like, if you scramble it and put it in a pile, is that technically the size of your fist? It's not super-duper clear. But I might have to scale back some of the calories just because, yeah, I'm plateauing. So... I will experiment with that as we move forward and just work in like little snacks in between, like maybe peanuts. I have some almonds down here. I have sugar free jello, but jello has like no calories in it. But if it fills up your stomach, then that's is that all that counts? I don't know. I don't, I'm probably gonna have to do more research on that. But this week overall, um, has definitely been stressful for different reasons just because um all last week i was listening to the highlights from the rnc and that shit is scary and they're coming for us dude um anybody who is not strictly christian and adheres to archaic ways of life they're coming for us we need to ensure that they don't get us we have to vote against project 25 2025 but this is not i don't know i'm not a political channel i have no interest in being a political channel i so many people are crazy when it comes to their political beliefs so normally i don't care i lean towards well i'm you know super kind of social democrat like there are lots of things that i think should be provided by the government so that you know society can be better as a whole regardless it's a pipe dream it'll never happen in this country but imagining a scenario where schooling is free your housing is provided for you you can focus buying on all the shit that you want to buy just for fun for your hobbies wouldn't that be a nice world but it's not the way the world works so it's fun to think about but even harder to really go into and discuss and all that jazz <sighs> we'll get i don't know we'll see we'll see in november what happens to us what happens to the country I don't have anywhere to go dudes anywho um yeah i think that's it like if this is helping you, not helping you, if you have, I don't know, I I would say provide me with tips, but I don't know, I don't, I don't need any more conflicting information or different information, like, I feel like different things work for different people, and so I know what was working before, two weeks ago, three weeks ago even, so I'm gonna dial it back. Because, like, yeah, I used to only be eating, like, one burrito. Now I'm eating two burritos. Even though it's under calories, I feel like uh, I need to scale back. I think I've lost, and now I've basically incorporated more food, even though I've been counting the calories, and they're still under 1,500. So I don't know. It's It's hard to know. But, uh, yeah, it's definitely rough, dudes. Like, I'm, like I said, I'm doing this for me. I'm not doing it for anybody else. I'm doing it because I want to consider myself physically attractive. Like, I don't think, you know, I don't think my face is ugly. I have a weak chin. We all have our imperfections. But, I don't know. I like the way my eyebrows look. My nose... 
it is what it is. It sucks that I can't breathe through my nose sometimes. Like I have to push the tip up sometimes to be able to breathe through it. I don't think I have, um, it's not a Zach Hadel situation where I have a deviated septum, I don't think, but I definitely kind of have a nasally voice. Um, I have nice lips, I have nice teeth. I have a bit of an overbite, so unfortunately, whenever I smile, you only see like the top row of teeth. I have to like push my jaw out so that you can see the bottom teeth, but nobody's perfect. But I think that having um, an overbite makes my lips stand out more, so I think I have very nice lips. It's just my face is really round, my body is really round, I have a fupa, there's all kinds of imperfections and i i don't really you know i i can get past that point where a lot of people uh they compare themselves to instagram influencers and weightlifting bros gym bros the dudes that are on gear they want to have that aesthetic and i don't really do that like i'm not interested in that I'm interested in what my version of attractiveness is and this current form of me is not it it hasn't been this ever since I can remember you know like yes people will love you and be attracted to you for whatever your body shape is but like it's not so much important to me what they think, you know, it's kind of important what I think. And what I think is that I need to be in shape. I want to be in shape. So it's it's a whole to do. And like I said, man, like I'm already 36 years old, which is crazy to me. The time, who knows where the hell the time went. Like, damn, I always think to myself, like, shit, man, if I could go back to my 20s and like, if only I had the clarity I have now back then, I could have got so much more shit done. But everybody does that. It's You can't go back and you can't constantly focus on the past. You have to deal with what you got now and, and look to the future. As, <laughs> as, as uh, grim as it might be. Um... But it's like, you know, I'm not getting any younger. My mother's not getting any younger. I want to be able to take care of her. I want to be able to take care of myself. My significant other, when I find them, like, I want to have kids. I want to have a family. I want to get married. And while I can still do that at 36, I feel like, I don't know, this is weird, but like... All the women my age, like, unfortunately, women are um, a timer when it comes to that. So it's like the amount of people you see, like, you know, you can't date anybody that's like 10 years younger than you because you're considered a creep or something or whatever. It's not like I'm trying to find that right. But women my age are already have like already have kids or. Like, it's the biological clock thing from my cousin Vinny. Like, you have to, like, whoa, like, jump right into it because, unfortunately, biology, like, does not hold a lot of time left. Like, women still can have kids in their 40s. It's just a lot more dangerous, you know, for them and I think for the baby. But, again, I'm talking out of my ass. I don't know. I haven't done the research. I should probably do the research before I say things. But, I don't know. That's my main fear is that I've let that aspect of my life pass me by. And that's sad and scary to me. That Shit, man. Like, I don't know. I was never able, like, before, like, I was 24, I think, or, uh, point being, I went into therapy for the first time when I was in, uh, undergrad. I was finishing up my undergrad degree, and into the first couple of 
years or no it was two years first couple of years in in grad school i was uh my university provided counseling if you needed it and it was during that counseling that i was able to really talk about my sa my uh schedule abuse my schedule accuse i don't know you have to say you have to hide words because, you know, if I want this to be seen and possibly get me subscribers, I have to censor myself because, you know, nobody wants to talk about dark things. My schedule, ob obtuse, um, I, I don't know, I wish that didn't happen to me because maybe I could have had a normal sex life. I could have had significant others. I mean, normal ex life. Normal sketch life, whatever. It's, I don't know. I, I have, don't really talk about this a lot. Like, I, not even regular therapy. I haven't really talked about these emotions. So, I'm not really super duper interested in opening myself up that much to a bunch of strangers. But, I can definitely say that, I don't know. Who wouldn't say that, though? Like, you know, I wish that didn't happen to me. Because maybe I could have been normal. Maybe I could have been normal what society deems as normal maybe i could have had high school girlfriend sweetheart maybe i could have thousands of thoughts going in thousands of different directions about what my life could have been and i don't know it's overwhelming at times and now i don't know i grew up in a toxic masculine age where it was the role of the man of the house to take care of everything to pay all the bills and the wife stayed at home and that's bullshit because not even my life was like that like my dad was a drug addict and so my mom was the one who went out and worked and took care of us so even my life was not quote unquote normal growing up and so I don't know I feel like what value really that's what it is is like what value do I provide to someone like who would want to be with me this 220 pound 5 foot 7 man who still lives at home because I don't know he doesn't want to go out and work at Walmart he doesn't want to go out and finish his master's degree he doesn't want he doesn't want a lot of things like what value do i provide to people and that's hard to think about talk about come to terms with who knows i'll figure it out someday but let's not uh go too far into this I just I'm kind of like getting these videos up to 24 minutes and I think that's what we've done here maybe a little less than 24 but me stopping and really analyzing all of my flaws isn't gonna do me any good mental health wise it's just gonna be me you ever see those depression commercials where like the person's like in a hole and they can't ever get out and it seems hopeless if i sit here and self-analyze too much it's gonna be that situation where like man i'm just gonna think about like how worthless i am and how why don't i have the gumption to go out and be miserable at a retail job because other people can do it they're probably just as miserable as i am but they're still able to go out and work a shitty job because they have no choice they're not as lucky as i am to where their parent is willing to house them and feed them it's uh it's rough when i start to strictly deeply analyze and so it's it's i think it's a a place for me to stop it's better for me to talk more about this in actual therapy but Sorry, that got kind of dark there at the end. As it will normally, like, you know, I'm not like sunshine and rainbows. It's, it's never been my personality. But yeah, I'm up a pound and some change. 
I'm, I think I'm plateauing right now, so I'm going to adjust my dietary intake to see if that helps, if that changes my current course. But yeah, thanks for watching, friends, and I'll see you guys next time.